a an atomic four, a nineteen a rebuilt nineteen seventy two atomic four gasoline auxiliary power sailboat engine into a seventeen foot homemade wooden I overhauled boat. this um, engine last uh, summer. But my problem is that after I roughed it in, I realized, you see how that, I need to keep the exhaust under the floor because I want to make the boat self bailing and I don't want any of the deck water to be able to migrate. Well, here we are buildings. back. And just like I promised, um, this is what I came up with. I got the shaft log installed. Not only is it down, but the engine looks like it needs to uh, be tilted up in the front a, a couple more degrees. Well, I got the yeah, engine down here is I have removed a half inch half inch strip of wood off the bottom of this uh, strong back here that the motor is attached okay, to. Okay, here we are. Got that engine installed. I had to re rework my motor Pillar. mounts. Turn the water on. overview of what it looks like uh, right now this a utility locker uh, that basically holds my batteries and my gas tanks okay this uh, equipment compartment will be covered with a hatch uh, a lid uh, it'll be made out of oak uh, like this, this one engine compartment will be covered with panels removable panels three of them and the hatch will overlap the panels and all that overlapping and including the overlapping ridge right there will make this also ring and aft height. I've uh, also constructed a movable a, a movable floor. Uh, this floor needs to be movable so that I can have access to the equipment underneath the, the floor. I've also built the rudder. This is the rudder handle. Uh, it's laminated oak covered in spar uh, varnish and stained with uh, red also oak completed stain. the oak uh, cover. Uh, Filling in all around the uh, the idea is to make this thing self bailing, and so all the uh, the equipment the equipment area here, and also down in the bilges, all have to, uh, rainwater can't get in there. Completely sealed all the way around the. Then I worked up this uh, and I worked up this A shifting lot of handle. I've Pretty much got the entire boat uh, completed. Uh, got the sides painted, uh, bottom painted, the inside painted. I got all the uh, fiberglass work done and non-skid down and everything. I, I got the rudder installed and gauges and electrics all hooked up and she's ready to uh, ready to give her a maiden voyage. Here the panel is. Uh, consists of I got this I got this uh, main run bus right here uh, that is the uh, that, that right there is is the uh, neutral and that's the hot side right there back here is my here's my uh, gauge Ford now you can see the 
setup here. These The radio and the uh, GPS will be mounted. You know, the the mounting the mounting brackets are down here. I'm and a little nervous about having gasoline and two batteries uh, right in there together in a closed um, box. But I've been trying to rationalize myself out of it, but. Uh, it still sounds like a stupid idea to me. Well, it's launch day. Well, I got her in the water. Well, I wish I had some good news. I'm out here. Loving life. Very little wind. Got the dock all to myself. Only problem is, I can't get the, uh, I can't get the engine to run. Okay guys, uh, lesson, lessons learned. Don't spend all winter overhauling a motor and building a boat and then not uh, take a couple hours to rebuild your car. Guys, I built this boat. I overhauled the engine. I've been working my hiney off and didn't take the time to clean this carburetor out. Well, I got the uh, carburetor all cleaned up, so quite sure that was my uh, problem. Figure since I'm in dry dock, I'm gonna go ahead and solve that uh, the batteries, the battery problem, the batteries and the gasoline in the same container. So I had a suggestion that uh, to move the batteries. Uh, down in the bilges and somebody else suggested moving the gas back under the seat well I like both ideas so I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm moving the batteries under the a single battery under the seat and under the floorboard and I'm moving the gas underneath the, uh, underneath the seat. well I'm underway but the problem is my transmission, my transmission is slipping. Uh, it's way too aggressive and it was causing my transmission to slip. Um, so what I did, I, my other propeller, and you've already seen this too, this is a 12.8. The recommended, what most people use, uh, the old style propellers, is the 12.7 to 12.9 and this is a 12.8 right in the middle. I thought I might be able to get away with this because it's a much smaller boat than is usually pushed by these things but honestly I, I never really thought it would work which is the reason I bought this propeller.